Hi everyone, this is Alchemize Gaming bringing you more Call of Duty content for 2019 and in today's video we're going to take a look at the new Crash 24-7 mode in multiplayer and some of the other new features that have become available as we enter Season 1 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So let's jump right in and take a look at some of the new features. Firstly we can see the Battle Pass. And as you'll notice, this is very similar to Black Ops 4. It is a series of tiers that you can either compete and win or buy. It's up to you what you choose to do. You can buy the first 20 tiers for some of the COD points that you probably got when you pre-ordered the game. And then as you work through meeting objectives, getting kills, getting score, you will unlock a tier. So, so far... I've unlocked all of this stuff here, so I've unlocked these two new operator skins and just a bunch of other kind of stuff, some double XP tokens. I unlocked a gun, which is the Holger 26 light machine gun and I think there was another light machine gun as well. Uh, so there's quite a lot available in Battle Pass. So they're calling this first community event uh, Season 1. It's got a pretty cool little intro video, which I'll take you in to have a look at now. So here we see this pretty cool opening montage. You can see lots of different operator skins, guns, all being shown off here. And obviously this uh, intro package is centred on Crash which is a reimagining of Crash, which has appeared in quite a few of the Modern Warfare games, most recently Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, originally, I think, in the original uh, Call of Duty 4. I quite liked the nighttime Christmas version of this map that was available as part of Modern Warfare Remastered. So let's jump in now and take a look at some of the gameplay from the Crash map. I'm playing Crash 24-7 here and it's a game of headquarters so it's core mode. Not my favourite. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not particularly enjoying this game or I wasn't up until last week. It's really the camping is the, the main issue that I've got with the game. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with playing the game tactically. I've always done it historically but in Black Ops 4 I had really got into running and gunning. I went back and I played Black Ops 4 over the last three or four days and I've just had way, way more fun playing the game than I've been having playing Modern Warfare. Uh, now on Black Ops because I think people are starting to play Black Ops the way they've been playing Modern Warfare recently. It's just full of campers Black Ops as well. You can just run about and get like 50 kills in a game uh, and take about six deaths. So obviously... That's a real boost in terms of how you're feeling about playing the game. And I've just been finding Modern Warfare just not fun. Uh, there's not much more I can say about it. I think it's the map layout because I went back in to play Crash, a map I know quite well. It's a three-lane map more so than the other ones and it was a lot easier obviously to navigate the map, to get kills, to hold down objectives to pick up objectives and I know that they've slightly changed the layout of the map and you'll see that but yeah I don't want to be someone who just grumbles about Call of Duty all the time I'm always super positive about the Call of Duty games but I'm just struggling with this one or I was struggling I quite like this new layer that they've added so I quite like them adding in uh, the items to unlock it helps you feel like you're making progress uh, I have found quite a good weapon in the MP5 with a silencer. So even playing in core mode, I felt quite comfortable with that, when normally I would play in hardcore mode. Uh, I know that I haven't really scratched the surface in terms of all of the modes and all of the unlocks that are available, and I guess this is just a, a, an opportunity to show off the crash map and let everybody get a little bit of a look at that and get my thoughts on it. So... Historically, it's always been one of my favourite maps. There's lots of different uh, levels. Uh, there are multiple routes, although it is based around more of a kind of three-lane model than any of the maps that have been released as part of this new Modern Warfare game. Uh, I've heard a lot of grumbling online 
uh, when people have been playing multiplayer recently about the nighttime maps, but I've not experienced any of those yet. So I think they have also been brought in as part of Season 1. Uh, there's lots for me to look at and unlock in Season 1, and I'm going to go on and do that. And I'll make some videos about what I think are the important things, probably about this Holger uh, light machine gun that I'm going to start using. So I think I'll probably uh, dip into the multiplayer mode more than just Team Deathmatch over the next week or so. Maybe it's that that I'm not enjoying so much because there's a limited amount of maps for Team Deathmatch. A uh, couple of the maps are really, really just absolute camp fests and not much fun to play. As I think I said in my original review of the game, uh, when this game is at its best, it's outstanding. But when it's at its worst, it's one of the worst games I've ever played in the Call of Duty series. So maybe I need to explore the multiplayer a little bit more, play some of the other objective-based uh, games and maps so that I'm opening myself up to a little bit more new experiences and things within the game because I think I have grown a little bit tired and frustrated of just having like four team deathmatch maps to play on. Uh, that was something I really noticed was the richness of content in Black Ops 4 when I went back into the game and I know that it's 18 months down the line or you know 14 months down the line since it was released or whatever but Black Ops 4 just has so much content, so many maps so many characters, so many guns, so many different ways to play the game. Uh, it's far more fluid, your movements are more fluid, the guns are easier to handle. And I don't want to be griping, I know that uh, Modern Warfare is a, it's a challenge, it's a change in style. It takes a long time to kind of upgrade and unlock all of the different parts of the weapons and... Uh, the sights and the various perks that come with the weapons. I've just found that a slog. I didn't find Black Ops 4 a slog. I found it like immediately rewarding as a game. And maybe this is just a richer, more layered game and I just haven't quite got to grips with it yet. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed the footage from this multiplayer game on the new Crash Map. I'm going to bring you some more content over the next seven days or so and I'm hopefully going to ramp up that content over Christmas. Uh, I've really dropped out of playing in kind of any squads or uh, teams over the last couple of weeks because I was just getting too frustrated playing the game. But I'll maybe dip back into that and pick up with some of the guys uh, and play some games with them. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Peace, and I hope you are enjoying Modern Warfare.